I can really elaborate on why I said myself more so than Absolutely. another athlete is that because a lot of times I had to battle with myself to keep challenging myself. Michael Jordan was a master of self-motivation, using anything that came across his path to propel him to greatness. From fellow teammates getting the cover of Sports Illustrated in college that he felt he deserved, or just a strong desire to never be on the losing side of a scrimmage against his fellow Chicago Bulls teammates, he always had a desire to be the best and win no matter the cost. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, we earned what we got. That love for competition and desire to win began in Michael when he was growing up. He was a huge fan of watching college basketball on TV and also watched baseball because of his father's love for the game. He remembers watching Roberto Clemente on TV because that was his father's favorite player. He even recounts his family going to watch NASCAR races throughout North and South Carolina. In order to continuously propel himself to greatness, he would battle against himself and use that as his one great motivation to continue pushing himself. There is no doubt this desire to continuously outdo himself drove him to be one of the greatest players players of all time. To me, I, I, that's probably the, you know, the most refreshing thing that my mom, she kept all my letters. So, I mean, it's somewhat embarrassing, but yet it's refreshing. He always was willing to give 100% of himself to the game he played and wanted to set the example of doing that for his team so that they never gave up in the face of adversity. When asked if he sees that same fight and desire for greatness in NBA star of today, Zion Williamson, he says he sees it and he admires his passion for the game. He believes that passion will propel him to greatness and not only himself but the NBA for years to come. I've always been taught that to reach a goal that in life that you want you have to work hard to get to it and so far I just you know have that in mind. Buzz Peterson became a dot on my board and when I got the chance to meet Buzz Peterson on the basketball court or in person, Buzz was a great person. It, it wasn't a fault of his. It was, it was just my competitive nature. Was, I didn't think he could beat me or he was better than me as a basketball player. And he became my roommate. And from that point on, he became a focal point, not knowingly. He didn't know it, but he did. And Coach Smith, the day that he was on the Sports Illustrated and he named four starters and he didn't name me, that burned me up because I thought I belonged on that Sports Illustrated. Now, he had his own vision about giving a freshman that exposure, and I totally understand that, but from a basketball sense, I deserved to be on that Sports Illustrated. And it didn't stop there. You know, my competitive nature went right into the pros. I get to the Bulls, which I was very proud that at the time Jerry Reinsdorf didn't own the team. Uh, it was another organization, and Rob Thorne drafted me. Kevin Lockett was my first coach. Kevin used to take practices and put me in the starting five. And we, you know, he'd make it a competitive thing where the losing team have to run. Well, I was closer to watching my father do most of the stuff. So, I mean, I wasn't really into uh, professional sports because where I grew up, you only had like uh, two television stations, you know, uh, NBC and ABC. And we couldn't even get the NBA games. So, my, most of my focus stayed on the college game. So, I was a big college basketball player. You know, I watch college and then baseball. Obviously, uh, my father was a big baseball fan. He loved Roberto Clemente. So uh, he was a base, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And I kind of grew up em emulating uh, or following his footsteps in terms of who he admired is who I watched. Um, I grew up also a NASCAR fan. So I was a Richard Petty fan. We used to go, my father used to take the whole family, pack us all in, you know, this, this Chrysler Plymouth, and we would drive all over North Carolina, South, South Carolina, and go watch stock car racing. So I was more into stock car racing than I was into anything else. Well, it's not just myself. I think the NBA is very fortunate to have a talented young man who, who shows a certain passion about the game. Uh, and that's something that, you know, you can't give. You're either born with it, and you basically want to share it with the, with the rest of the world. We looked at Zion being a impact player that would bring energy to the game of basketball. And we can do it with a lot of different factors and, and different ways of endorsement and marketing. Uh, so it was a great opportunity for us. And I imagine you know, the league has quite a number of those people. Uh, but we were very fortunate that he chose us. And we look at every opportunity to expand to him, to the consumers, and yet showcase his personality and his basketball skill. At the end of the day, we can't play basketball for him, but we feel like he does present us an opportunity to showcase his talents. And that's what our job is going to be. And it's a great partnership. And I think you know, what you saw the other night was a, you know, it was a taste of what you're going to see coming forward. He still has a lot to do.
but I think his passion for the game uh, is coming through the way that he plays, and I think that's great for the league. That's not just great for Jordan. If I can really elaborate on why I said myself more so than another athlete, is it because a lot of times I had to battle with myself to keep challenging myself. You know, that to me was why I would say that the biggest battle was was myself. Because when you get to a certain pinnacle, you got to find some ways to keep going out there for 82 games. Determination, you know, um, what your motives are, what your ambitions were from the beginning. You know, it's been a lot of soul searching in terms of. It's easily, it's easy to sit back and say, well, I, I've given my best. You know, I'm tired. You know, some other, somebody else got to do it or whatever. I didn't take that approach. I, I thought positively and, and said, whatever I could do, every little inch of energy that I have, I'm going to try to provide for this team. I mean, if you give up, then they give up, you know. So I didn't want to give up, you know, no matter how sick I was, or how tired I was, or how, you know, low on energy I was, I felt an obligation, you know, to my team, to the city of Chicago to go out and give that extra effort so that we could be here for the fifth championship. It was tough. You know, I, it was tough in the sense that I was more competitive than I ever was because I wanted to win more than I ever did, you know, because of some of the, the bumps in the road.